Hello and welcome to everyone. This is Neeraj Gautam. Today we are going to solve this doubt problem which is from the subject fluid mechanics. So let's read the problem first. The water is flowing through a pipe having diameter 30 cm and 20 cm at a section A and B respectively. The rate of flow through the pipe is 80 liters per second. The section A is 8 meter above the datum and section B is 5 meter above the datum. If the pressure at the section A is 4 bar, then find the intensity of pressure at section B. Now, first to solve this problem, we will draw the diagram. So, let us take the first, take the datum line. And we know that the section A and section B are 8 meter and 5 meter above the ground. Okay. So, we will draw the section A and section B. Section A for section A, 8 meter above the ground, and for section B is 5 meter above the ground. Basically, at this point, our section is passing. Now we will draw the pipe. That this is the section A. This is the section B. E. Section A. B e section. I will start five. This section B, which is at height of five meter from the ground. Say this height is denoted by Z B and height of section A. ZA is 8 meter from the ground. 8 meter from the ground. The diameter of this section is DA and diameter of section B is represented by DB. Diameter of section A as given 30 centimeter. We write all the dimensions in SI units. So 0 0.3 meters and the diameter of section B is 20 centimeter, which is 0 0.2 liters. Okay. Using these diameter, we can calculate the area of the section A and area of section B. So let's calculate first the area of section A as pi by 4 into diameter A square pi by 4. into 0 0.3 diameter of section 0 0.3 square equals to is calculated as 0 0.070686 here is square and area of section B in same manner we can calculate using pi by 4 diameter of section B square on substituting the values pi by 4 into 0 0.2 meters diameter of section B square is equals to and this value is 0 0.03416 meter square. Okay. Now it is given that the water is flowing through this pipe. The water is flowing through this pipe. The axis of pipe, water is flowing through the pipe at a flow rate of 80 liters per second. The flow rate Q is equals to 80 liters per second. Okay. Using this flow rate, we can calculate 
the velocity of flow at section A and section B. So, for velocity calculations using continuity equation, equation discharge Q is equals to A A B A equals to A B B B A. So, Q this discharge which is 80 liters per second. If I convert this discharge into cubic meter then 80 into 10 raise to minus 3 cubic meter per second. We know that 1 cubic meter is equals to 1000 liters. So, 1 cubic meter is equals to 1000 liters. So, 1 liter is equals to 10 raise to minus 3 cubic meter. This is the conversion relation between liter and cubic meter. The area at A is known to us is 0 0.070686 square meter and the velocity at A which we calculate using this relation. So, VA is equals to 1.132 meter per second. The velocity at section A. Now, similarly, using Q is equals to AB, VB, Q is equals to also using Q equals to area of section B into velocity of section that is AT. Sorry, here we have to write n to the power minus 3 because we converted this discharge from liters per second to cubic meter per second as this value we have to substitute as the place of Q. Okay. So, A T into 10 raise to minus 3 is equals to area of section B is 0 0.03416 square meter into velocity at B in meter per second. So, velocity at section B is equals to is calculated as a 2. Point 3.42 meter per second. You can pause the video to perform the calculations, writing the values as I calculated it earlier. Now, as the velocities are calculated at both the sections A and B, we know what is the velocity at this section. At this section, the velocity is VA calculated and the velocity at section B is also calculated. Now, the pressure at section A is given which is equals to 4 bar. Pressure at section A is given as 4 bar you can see here and the intensity of pressure at section B we have to determine. EB we have to determine the goal of this solution. Now, we can determine the pressure at section B using Bernoulli's equation. It is basically the energy balance between these two sections. So, I am going to write the Bernoulli's equations. Bernoulli's equation for section A and section B. So, Bernoulli says that the pressure energy in form of head Pa by rho g plus kinetic energy or kinetic head V square by 2g plus potential head is all energy at section A should be equals to the pressure energy at section B plus 
velocity or kinetic energy at section B by plus that B. Okay. All the energies are in form of head. It is basically the energy per unit weight of the fluid. Joule per Newton. The unit of these energies is Joule per Newton. Joule per Newton. That is Newton meter per Newton. That's why all the terms in Bernoulli's equation has a unit meter. Okay. Now we know that pressure at A point is 4 bar. Pressure at A point is 4 bar in SI units. We will convert it into Pascals and 1 bar is equals to 10 to the power 5 Pascal. So 4 bar is equals to 4 into 10 to the power 5 Pascal and Pascal is represented as Newton per meter square. So we will put here the values of all the known quantities. Pressure at 1 section or A section 4 into 10 to the power 5. The density is 1000 for water. And the gravity 9.81 meter per second square. Similarly, the velocity is calculated at 1.132. So 1.132 square by 2g, where g is 9.81 plus za the datum height 8 meter equals to pressure at B section we have to find rho G will substitute the value of rho and G later on plus the velocity at B is 2.342 velocity square so where of this number 2 into G 9.81 plus the height of B section or datum or potential head of B section is 5 meter. Okay. Just for your knowledge. Now we can solve this equation for PB by rho plus 2. The value of this 4 into 10 raised to 5 divided by 9.81 into 1000 is 40.775 the value of this 1.132 square divided by 2 into 9.81 is 0.065 V plus 8 is already present here and the quantity this when goes from right to left it becomes negative. So with negative sign, I can write 0 0.28, which is, the, which is the calculated value of this action. And when 5 goes from left to right, it becomes negative 5 minus 5. On calculation of all the things, Pb is equals to B equals to the value of P by rho G equals to 43.5603 and if we calculate P B using this relation then 43.5603 multiplied this density is multiplied as 1000 P of water and E 9.81. So the value is uh, multiplied 1000 and uh, 9.81. So value is 427 P26.543 Pascals or Newton per meter square. As we substituted pressure Pa in Newton per meter square, so Pb is also in Newton per meter square. If I convert it into bars, then Pb is equals to 4.27 P and so on bars. This is the answer. And 
we can say here that pb is greater than pa so the direction of flow which we drawn here is correct since the pressure at b is higher than pressure at a therefore the flow is always from higher pressure to lower pressure so direction of flow should be b to a okay so this is the final answer which is asked in the question if you have any doubt or query related to another subjects of mechanical engineering you can post your doubts on the mail id shown here thank you